So I'm making this video because I was asked to, and the topic is using dual power bricks and DC-DC power converters to power a card like the R9 Nano. Presumably so you can fit it inside a mini ITX chassis like the S4 Mini, which you can indeed use and fit an HD Plex and a Pico power supply, which is how I have it set up right now, and you can fit both those into an S4 Mini. So that's not really the problem. The problem that I have with this method is that you end up with two power bricks. And two power bricks, two power cords, you know, I just think that's kind of messy when it's already been proven that it's not the power converters, the DC, DC power converters that crash. It's the power bricks that crash when these cards peak. So if you were to buy like a thousand watt industrial DC DC power supply, like the one from Meanwell, that would be a better solution to me anyways, because you're just dealing with one unit instead of two. But I want to do this video. It seemed like a fun idea. I was just thinking about it after I got it all set up. But what's really interesting is that this is actually less wires than if I were to use just the HD plugs by itself. I might be able to get rid of some wires for systems that would otherwise need the HD Plex. It's an expensive way of doing it and not maybe practical from that sense, but if you're just trying to reduce the wire clutter at any cost, which when the S4, it's, let's face it, it comes down to an any cost system. I don't know. It sounds like an interesting idea to me. How well have I tested this setup? Uh, well, I've been playing MechaWarrior on it a little too much today, and MechaWarrior is a really good game for testing this kind of thing because it just is a power-hungry game. It sucks watts from the wall like no other game that I own. And I think partly it's because it's so CPU intensive. Um, I don't know why. It's a crappy looking game, but man, does it use your CPU. As I proved earlier in my test videos trying to play AMD versus Intel against each other. It was disappointing, to say the least, for poor little AMD. It got crushed. But this is a good game for it. So it uses a lot of power. And plus, it's not a very stable game, to be honest. Um, I, I like the game, so I play it. But it is not a stable game. So if you can play the game stably, I think it's a good test. Now, I also ran Heaven Valley by the Uni Engine company, and I ran Furmark. And both of them seem to be quite stable. I did get the R9 Nano to bomb one time in Furmark. One time. And that was with the standard disabling anti-aliasing. Ow. But I would say, overall, this is a pretty stable combo. And I mean, if I need to prove that, I mean, look, at I got this is a R9 Fury X Nitro by Sapphire. And it's probably the most power-hungry card I have in the office. It's not power-hungry for a video card, I suppose. Still, on my Xeon system over there, from the wall, it draws about 450 watts. So it's more than average, the R9 Nano. I did test this all with the R9 Nano. I just don't have it in right this second. You can hear a lot of um, noise that comes from the HD Plex, the coil line. That happens more with the AMD cards, I would say, than the, than the few NVIDIA cards I've tested, which is really just different kinds of GTX 970s. It's really bad with the Nano. The Nano is horrible. Now, pretty much all GPUs whine here under the credits, but, I mean, golly gee, when it's running, it's it's noisy. It's not so bad, actually, with the Fury X. So what else can I talk about? Um, it's not really a lot to talk about. It's just the fact that I wanted to demo using dual DC-DC power converters and the power brick. Ah! Oops. I just jumped the HD Plex, so you don't have to use a bunch of wires. If you want to know how to do that, it's real simple. You just find the green wire on the power braid and the black wire and 
connect a wire between the two. But the system runs great. So I guess if you want to use a dual brick setup, go for it. But again, I would probably would not do that. I probably would use a single big industrial brick and wire it up. So I don't know how this video helps you, but if you thought it was fun, great. And if not, you know, you guys asked for it. All right, peace.